Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love in the shows that you live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about Season 1 of Luther. Luther tells the story of Detective Chief Inspector John Luther. Man, that's a... Uh... That's a pretty cool title. Right, I'm DSA FP Harnick. What happened here? Well, sir, it's a quadruple homicide. The perp came in through that door. I'm sorry, DSA FP? Detective Super Awesome Fancy Pants. You can't see because of the uh, framing, but uh, my pants, they're extremely fancy. Luther is a testament to the fact that a seemingly unoriginal story doesn't have anything to do with the quality of a show. At its core, Luther is a police show about a detective solving crimes and that detective being a broken man haunted by his past. Odds are you've heard that premise before. So first let's talk about the character of John Luther. Idris Elba just disappears completely into this character. John Luther is an angry, obsessive, brilliant man, and much like other similar characters, he is most at home when he's solving some gruesome murder. Sometimes when you watch a show, you need it to be believable. You need to feel that that person would do that thing in that situation in real life. And something that usually snaps me out of that experience is when a character just rages out and starts breaking shit when they're pissed off. Because I feel that no one really does that in real life, just flips over their desk because someone looked at them wrong, because someone pissed them off, without thinking about like, oh shit, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to clean that up later. It always seems like overacting to me, and you can probably see my point coming here, it doesn't feel that way with Luther. When Luther breaks shit because he's angry, it feels like that's who that character is. Some of the people around him got used to it, some of them didn't, and that sort of personality that he has gets him in trouble more than once. So season one of Luther is six episodes long, with every episode being about an hour. Every episode has a different case for John to tackle, and usually it somehow ties into the main story. Not always directly, but it sort of taps into the state of mind John is in. The cases John has to solve on the show feel like they had dozens of ideas for the show, enough to make a 22 episode season of your better than average procedural, and then they handpicked six of the best ideas and perfected them until they were good enough for this show. The process Luther goes through when solving these crimes and how they reflect pieces of himself is fascinating. And there's a relationship that forms over the course of the season that is one of the most interesting and twisted things I've seen on TV lately. A lot of this season is about introducing Luther as a character, but the show does a good job at not making it feel like six episodes of exposition. That's the reason I wanted to make a separate video for season two, because there you have a different starting point. You already know the character and, well, what he's capable of. Luther is not really about twists and big reveals. As the viewer, you usually get the whole picture while you watch Luther try to piece it together. You can usually predict the outcome, but that doesn't really matter because the way there is what this show is all about. Luther is a very classic anti-hero, and the story of what he goes through as a whole is something you've probably heard before. But the way the story plays out feels fresh. I didn't feel like I was watching just another cop show, and I didn't feel that John Luther is just another broken man haunted by his past willing to do anything to solve a case even if it puts him at risk or alienates the people he loves. Because let's face it, that's a pretty common character. Something else that Luther does well is show that things are not exactly black and white, and this show does this by taking a character that's pretty much a murdering psychopath, and at first making you interested, like, alright, let's, um, let's hear them out. And then making you pretty much straight up like them, and I was thinking, I know I shouldn't like this character, but I hope they stick around forever. Luther's personal story is, again, a story you've probably seen before, but for me at least, the performances and the writing were so good here that I didn't mind at all. The fact that you heard a story before doesn't make it any less good when it's told well. I feel that six episodes was kind of the perfect number of episodes for this season. It's a short span, but the show manages to tell the standalone stories and Luther's personal story with plenty of breathing room. The the show doesn't feel clutter. I feel that if the show went for the traditional 10 or 13 episodes or the face of both forbid procedural 22 episodes, it probably would have lost some of its uniqueness. Bottom line, should you watch it? Luther takes a familiar story and tells it well, in doing so makes it unique. John Luther is a compelling, intense character and Idris Elba is just excellent. Can he please be the next James Bond or the Doctor or both? Usually the six episode miniseries like Luther, The Fall, Peaky Blinders, River, which I'm going 
going to watch pretty soon. Usually they feel super heavy and even though it's a short season, they can be hard to get through, even though they're also usually really good. Luther doesn't suffer from that, it feels the season ends right where it needs to, and all six episodes have a good consistent pace that makes it flow really well. But all of that is just my opinion, what about you, what did you think about Luther, and also What's your favorite British cop show? Okay, maybe Idris Elba not as the doctor, but like as the master once Michelle Gomez is done. If you're gonna be talking about spoilers, please use spoiler tags in your comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And remember, you can vote on what gets reviewed next on Binge Watchers. But in any case, keep binging and I will see you next time.